The following presentation has been brought to you by the Adrenal Alternatives Foundation on the topic of the cortisol pumping method. Cortisol pumping, everything you need to know. Adrenal Alternatives Foundation, 501c3 nonprofit organization dedicated to encouragement, advocacy, and education for all adrenal disease. What is cortisol pumping? Cortisol pumping is the use of cellucortef, injectable version of cortisol when mixed with saline or bacteriostatic water used in an insulin pump program to disperse cortisol according to the natural circadian rhythm by programming rates of delivery into the pump. Why use a pump instead of steroid pills? Though this method is not a cure for adrenal disease, it is an option for those who have failed to stabilize on traditional oral steroid replacement. This treatment is especially life-saving for patients who have comorbidities that impact their ability to absorb oral medications. Patients who are hypometabolizers have also found great relief by switching to this method. The cortisol pumping method bypasses the gastric passage and is able to deliver cortisol 24 seven. With an infusion pump, an adrenal insufficient patient can receive a constant supply of cortisol and can lessen the instability experienced with oral steroid cortisol replacement. Side effects due to malabsorption can be decreased and patients have reported to have improved sleep, weight management, and experience an overall improvement in their energy levels and sense of well-being. This method has also been shown to lessen the prevalence of adrenal crisis and hospitalizations due to low cortisol. Frequently asked questions. Is cortisol pumping FDA approved? Infusion pumps have long been approved for the administration of medications. According to the Department of Health and Human Services Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, Medicare Coverage Issues Manual Section 60-14A, number six, other uses of external infusion pumps are covered if the contractor's medical staff verifies the appropriateness of the therapy and of the prescribed pump for the individual patient. In addition, according to the recently passed Right to Try Act, patients have legal rights to access to life-saving treatments which are not yet FDA approved. Adrenal Alternatives Foundation is actively working to gain FDA approval for the cortisol pumping method, but that involves years of clinical trials, patient studies, and funding. We will achieve this one day, but until then, we are educating patients that FDA approval is not necessary to safely and legally begin cortisol pumping under the care of a licensed physician. Use of the infusion pump for adrenal insufficiency is considered off-label. Do I still need an emergency injection on the pumping method? An adrenal crisis is defined as a life-threatening medical emergency caused by insufficient levels of the hormone cortisol. It will lead to death if left untreated and must be quickly addressed with the administration of an emergency cortisol injection. The pump is not a replacement for acute adrenal crisis care. Adrenal patient, patients should always carry an emergency injection and administer it immediately in the event of an adrenal crisis. Will health insurance cover it? What your insurance will cover is completely dependent on your specific coverage plan, 
and insurance company. If you are denied, you can always file an appeal. It is also an option to cash purchase a pump and supplies specifically from companies such as Omnipod and Medtronic if you have a prescription from your overseeing physician. Adrenal Alternatives Foundation has created resources to help adrenal patients acquire pumps in a safe and legal manner with our Pumps for Purpose program. How to start the pumping process. Step one, assess your life, health, and disease management. The cortisol pump is not a cure for adrenal insufficiency and is not a treatment that is right for everyone. If you are well managed on the steroid replacement pills, the adrenal pump is excess money and effort you may not need. Information you need to know. What form of adrenal insufficiency do you have? What is your quality of life? What have you tried to manage your adrenal disease? What is your current daily dose of replacement steroid? How much are you stress dosing? Are you able to afford the supplies and medication needed for the pump? Step two, find a pump friendly physician. Finding a healthcare professional willing to work with this relatively unknown treatment option can be a challenge. You may have to query multiple physicians before you find one willing to manage your care on the cortisol pumping method. In order to achieve this, it is best to prepare a compelling case and provide it to the physician before your appointment. Send research on the cortisol pumping method and your health records to the physician before your appointment so they are aware of your intentions beforehand. We have created a pump proposal letter you can fill out with your information explaining your diagnosis, failed treatments, and desire to be on the pump. The doctor may or may not be receptive to your request, and alerting them to your intentions beforehand may save you time, money, and effort. Again, you may have to contact multiple physicians before finding one who is willing to manage the cortisol pumping method. Clinical assistance. Adrenal Alternatives Foundation's clinical team is willing to speak with you, your current physician, and provide them with guidelines on how to safely start the pumping method. If you would like our assistance, fill out the contact form on our website and request a free cortisol pumping consult. Step three, pre-pump planning. Getting the proper evaluation is essential to managing patient care with adrenal insufficiency. It is imperative that the correct tests are performed to assess cortisol clearance and metabolism in order to set effective basal rates. The pump is only as effective as the information programmed into it. You will also need your overseeing physician to write prescriptions for silicortab files, the infusion pump, and supplies needed to manage your care on the cortisol pumping method. Prescriptions and items needed. Alcohol prep pads. Infusion pump. Infusion sets and reservoirs. Saline or bacteriostatic water. So you cortex syringes, additionally helpful supplies, band-aids, hibiclin solutions, medical paper tape, skin tack, tegaderms, label stating your pump contains cortisol and not insulin, sharps container. Choosing a pump system. There are multiple different pump systems available. Determining what infusion pump company works best for you will depend on your personal cortisol needs, what your insurance will cover, your lifestyle, and your location. Though the concept of all pumps are basically the same, some have 
uh, different features, such as being waterproof or tubeless. Choosing a pump system is a decision you and your overseeing physician can make based on insurance coverage, activity level, and accessibility. Here is an example of a tubeless pump system. Here is an example of a tube pump system. Here is an example of infusion site locations for the cortisol pumping. For more information on the cortisol pumping method, visit Adrenal Alternatives Foundation at adrenalalternatives.com. Research support. Adrenal Alternatives Foundation has compiled research studies supporting the cortisol pumping method and documents that a majority of adrenal patients were able to find better quality of life by the use of an infusion pump available on our website, adrenalalternatives.com. Here is a book, Cortisol Pump 101, a patient's guide to cortisol pumping. Everything you need to know about the cortisol pump available in one book. Copies of this book are available on Amazon, Kindle, and Barnes and Noble. We also offer a PDF pamphlet available on our website. If you need assistance with the cortisol pumping method, please fill out the contact form on our website and we will have a team member contact you to schedule a free consult. This content has been brought to you by Adrenal Alternatives Foundation, a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We appreciate all contributions which allow us to further our mission, education, advocacy, and awareness for all adrenal disease.